Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. It's Vlogmas and we have our dear friend Matthew over that we have corralled uh, into working on our newest project. We are in the garage, as you can tell, we are making stocking holders, stocking stands, stocking poles. We need things to put stockings on. Come along, see what we do. So yesterday we did a lot of the prep work and a lot of the painting and today we thought we'd assemble and show you guys the finished product. Ready guys? Anything to say? What are you doing sitting there? Watch our project! Why are we just sitting here continuing this video? We've got work to do. Work Let's to do, do it. Come on. Now they're ready. Hurts. All right, let me show you some of the features of this wonderful pole here. This is a four by four post that we've painted with the candy stripes. Beautiful. It has certain key features. For example, dowel rods. These are highfalutin features. This second one is the exact same dimensions and size. The only difference is we painted different stripes than this one. The third one, also the same size and stripes, has a larger dowel rod openings. And this one is made to actually be taken down every year so they are not glued in place. Each one of our poles is made for a different individual and represents different personal style. This foot is Matt's foot and you'll see how they go together in a second but we wanted to show you that it really doesn't matter what you do to them any type of max foot I'm surprised you could get it up that high it hurt <laughs> but anything from something decorative and ornate like this this one is ours which is a little more simple and the third one is very basic and we didn't use any special tools besides the table saw to do this cut whereas the scroll saw was used to do the first two now we're going to assemble we're also as you noticed on the one that has a topper already on the top the other two do not yet we also are going to put our toppers on the other two and get the dowel rods in on that third candy cane Matt's jigging a couple of holes that sounds dirty. In the legs, so that we can attach them to the poles. That sounds dirty. I'm jiggy. Getting jiggy with it. He's getting jiggy with it. This is just a piece of decorative molding we've cut on 45s and attached to the top of the pole. And we're just touching up the edges with some paint. Merry Christmas to me. There appears to be some trash on my workstation here. That's not trash. I'm sure that's a, that's a vital working component. This is not needed. This is trash. We it's just, a tool. We can throw this away. You're a tool. We that is a, that's the most important tool in the garage besides me. So this is yours? Yes, that's mine. Hmm. Hashtag don't judge. Hashtag coffee life. Hashtag drop the coffee. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. In my hand. Whatever you do, don't drop it. Thanks. I suppose if she's happy, then I'm happy. Well, she ain't happy, you ain't happy. You're so sweet. That is the general setup for the legs. Matt's just going to hold it there for the entire season.
See, it's true. She really does know how to paint. <laughs> Hey guys, here are our finished stocking holders. Each one is unique and has different features. This one here is one that will be auctioned off at work with the proceeds benefiting Hardin County Christmas families. The third one is Matthew's and he'll have to explain his sign logic to you. It's pretty simple. The pole is at the North Pole. From the North Pole, every direction points south. But these two and my wife do not get that. As I explained to him, that looks like a South Pole to me. It's, they're pointy, see, pointy, pointing to the South Pole, or in this case, the South Pole. Yeah, about the same thing. We had a lot of fun making these. Learned a lot about Matt. A lot. Such as? Your hair looks beautiful. Your hair looks beautiful. That I that? understand at the North Pole, everything <laughs> points south. Is that what we learned? That I understand things and you don't. We had a lot of fun making these. We hope you enjoyed the video of how we made these. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. We'll have another new video. See you guys. Bye, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. What he said. What he said. You I don't know which way to go, it's South Pole, South Pole, South Pole, oh my god, which way do I go, which way do I go? It depends, are you wanting to go south? <coughs> You're too tall. Yeah. I'm too tall. Mm -hmm. We better. <laughs> we better make this quick because I can't do this with my knees that long. That's Here. what she said. There, that's better. I kept my mouth shut for that. You know, there you go. All right, let's cut shit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, here, put this in. Yeah, I mean, put this in here. Some more. Okay, so then we'll cut. We'll cut a, a piece at the angle we want to run through that. Make sense? Okay. Matt, you getting over here? Do I need to? He says, I'll do what I want. <laughs> yeah, I do what I want. Jenna, the boss of me, do the wood. Pickles told me I don't have to do a damn thing. I don't want to. <laughs> don't we look like a hodgepodge crew? This is a rough bunch. I'm cute as a button. I don't know what y'all talking about. I'm old and gray and going bald, apparently. <laughs> <clears throat> now we're going, going, bleh, bleh. Yeah, your gut won't let you do that, honey.